No matter how many times I go turkey hunting, I still get excited calling in a big gobbler. There's nothing like a strutting tom coming closer to turn even the experienced hunter into a jumble of nerves. That's why I get even more excited when I guide a hunter who has never bagged a bird. He's not that far. I'm in a Henry County field with veteran hunter Bill Piper. Today's trip is a birthday present from his good friend Barry Stauffer and Barry's wife. Those that are gobbling are sure gobbling this morning. The birds are nearby, but the challenge of this early season hunt is clear. Got competition. And not so clear. Yep, that's a dog that surprised us and all the birds in the area. This is the part where the run and gun hunter and me keep saying, get out, go after him, get out, go after him. Close the distance. That's exactly what we do. But after bumping some roosted hens, Guess we keep moving. Our best chances might be later in the day. Well, there certainly were a lot of turkeys gobbling this morning, but they got the best of us. So this afternoon, we're gonna come back. Hopefully no dogs or hens will get in our way. And we're gonna see if we can't make it work out for us. Even our best efforts can't coax a bird to the blind, but Bill's optimistic gets me an opportunity to be out in the woods and, and enjoy the spring and um, it's also very fascinating because you get get up close to the animals and you get to listen to them but i'm gonna i'm gonna get one for sure yeah absolutely turkey hunters know another day can bring success it's a new day at a different location and we've got birds in the distance along a fence line they act like they might come up this way. I just can't help but think they hadn't seen the decoys yet. Just to make sure, I crawl out to the decoys to see for myself and to make them more attractive to our new friends. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. I had to shoot quickly to keep him from getting too close to the decoy. When Chris went up and moved the decoys a little bit closer to their eyesight and they saw him and a couple just uh, uh, correct uh, calls there at the right time, why well, it was amazing. When I finally did that last time where I moved that decoy, they both folded up. He was in strut, whichever one it was, folded up and started down that hill. And I thought, I'm gonna get caught out here. This is incredible. Nice going. This is incredible. I mean to tell you, that was just incredible. He was so determined he was gonna kill himself a turkey. It's just awesome. He was able to able to get one and me getting one is just a, just a little bit of a bonus. I'd have been perfectly happy if it was just him getting one. One day, no turkeys. Another day, two birds. It's what keeps turkey hunting so unpredictable and exciting, as Bill now knows. Great, great morning. I'll never forget it. It was fantastic. I'm Chris Nishan on Tennessee's Wild Side.